while Laura was talking, you could hear the reaction. Nobody around here was sure that Milton was going to start this game. There's Killens, who had the 36-yard his first year at the helm here this night's program. Milton will throw short, and the speed of Killens gets away to the 30. And out of bounds inside the 30, a big gain. Huge gain for the Knights. 28 yards. Milton looked almost like a design run, and he gets ripped hard. They're going to have to be careful with this. Well, you have a good perspective on that. A, a, a great career as a head coach with quarterbacks football in the American. On third and six, empty backfield for Milton, who will throw the slant. It is knocked down incomplete. ago, Milton and the offense back on the field after a blocked field goal was the end result of their first drive. These my nickname's <laughs> Double D. It's like, I got to have these. Milton takes a huge hit as he throws, and the pass is caught, but no. UCF gets the play snapped, so no chance for the replay to stop play. Did Davis make another great catch? Not the back shoulder throw. He's six foot three. He goes up and gets the ball. And the super high tempo now toward the end zone. Perfectly delivered. Touchdown. Dredrick Snelson. Attention to against this super tempo offense of UCF. Anderson gets the handoff. They use him in so many different ways, and he gets a great job, great run. And they'll use a Wildcat, pitch it back to Milton, the regular quarterback who's going to dance around to the pocket and then take off, and he takes a big hit right at the line. Shot, but it was well covered. Yeah, double third, covered. Third and a yard, and UCF will convert with the quick tempo. He's a running back for this offense. That's kind of what Gene was talking about. They have a lot of weapons on this UCF team. That was fired right into the tempo. Oh, they were much slower this time. 30 on the play clock, and they'll get the first down with Killens. Went to Utah State, went to Missouri. Now the head coach here, that pass batted down at the line. Second and ten, and the handoff. Big hole opens up straight up the middle. Taj McGowan for a first down and more. In round. That's what the Art Briles Baylor offense has always been about to me. Mackenzie Milton pressure, dumps it short and complete. You're right, but a lot. And they do that to try to help their team. Play fake toward the end zone, and a penalty flag comes. Too much contact. It's a key piece of this offense, Dave. Milton keeps it, and that one he threw behind his intended target goal for UCF. Milton again keeps it and he's going to hit his man. Second chance. Classic job with it. So first down, Knights offense back on the field. Milton is going to go deep. He's got a man open. Incomplete. Just shots taken here tonight. Still the first quarter and a running play for Otis Anderson. Can get some positive yardage. Milton with the snap in the pocket. He'll throw again deep and again just a little too far. Same idea. But he'll get it back on track. He's very accurate. And I'm betting they're going to keep taking those chances. This time Milton keeps it and just could not get to the corner again. Uh, came back and won that game. So they've been here before. Milton throws across the middle and that one just perfect. Anderson out of the open into Temple territory. Anderson breaks a tackle to the 20 and brought down the inside. The Anderson dynamic with the ball in his hands. 57 yards. Next play across the middle. It's going to be first and goal UCF. And the play call was give it to number four. Taj McGowan straight ahead. They can pound it in. He gets the ball again and gets close, but not quite there. Big play. Quickly under center, and they gave it to the big fullback, and he did not get in. Stuffed. And under center again. Milton almost tripped, kept his balance, and he will take it in. Touchdown. Trying to get organized. 349, the total yardage for Temple. The ball comes out. That is blown dead incompletely past second and 10. Milton pressured, gets away for a moment, and then flings it kind of off his back foot, tipped up and dropped. Should have been intercepted off. So it's third and ten for Milton and the UCF offense. More pressure and a big hit knocks him. Yeah, definitely one of his idols growing up. The Islanders stick together. Killens with that great speed to the corner and will go out of bounds after getting... Plenty of time by UCF standards. Play fake. Milton, a little pump fake. Down the sideline. Anderson jumped up, but he's out of bounds. He caught it. They will hand the ball off. That's Greg McCray. McCray out into the open. And you can see why they like this kid so much. Into Temple territory first down. Have a foul no block. Seeing his seam and hit the seam up inside. 
Milton steps up, throws short right. That's a catch inbound. Tempo of UCF. Milton kept it, and he will get the first down. Went into a slide after getting there. Need to pick up enough to move the chains. And they get it snapped so quickly. Milton across the middle, a little high. Intended for. Milton over the top. And that one is knocked away incomplete. At the last minute, the dead turned around. Right. Didn't get the penalty flag. Now flags are thrown all over the place. A shot, and Milton, speaking of, takes a huge shot. Incomplete. Milton. That is a catch right at the... Organized, two minutes to go first half. They're going for it. McRae, no. Milton kept it. He gets dragged down, but flags are thrown. Right, that's who they've been this season, who they've been tonight. I agree. A little misdirection and a jet sweep type play toward the outside, lunging for the pylon. Set drill for these guys, and they've been very efficient moving the ball. Tim. Straight ahead, touchdown UCF. With 16 seconds on the clock, but they are going to hand the ball off. And so you see with your fast guy, Killens, whether you can pop one, he gets. Clock winding, Milton will throw, and that one into coverage. It'll be a sliding attempt, and yeah, a catch. Handoff, wow, huge hole. Can Temple get him on the ground? The answer in the end is yes. So I'm gonna get here in the second half. And a little shuffle from the running back before the play starts, and then he squirts through. Greg McCray into Temple territory right away. Nice pickup. They give it to McCray once again. Nice cut up field out into the open. And McCray inside the 35. Down. Outside opens up a big hole. Milton in the pocket down the sideline, wide open, and a jump attempt out of bounds. Incomplete. And hand the ball off. McCray's had a lot of running room. Stays on his feet. Greg McCray, touchdown. What a run. Two minutes of the second half. Hand off. This time it's Killens. Straight ahead run for a couple yards. Like, okay, the playoff rankings revealed on Tuesday. The huge slate of games coming up this weekend. And it almost does feel like Join life, right Alexa. through the ceiling. Third and ten. Milton in the pocket throws, and that one is almost intercepted, incomplete. They also play so many players. I mean, if there's a defense that can withstand a game like this in terms of stamina, maybe it's the Owls. Although now we're seeing the power running. The whistle still has not blown. The roll guys in and out. A screen set up and executed very nicely. Killens out into the open, gets tripped up, but across the third. Coming out of the backfield, he's got great hands, great speed. Play fake across the middle, incomplete. That pass very high, but they will throw. Temple looked a little confused as they got lined up for that play. McCray has been. Dusty, you've been saying it every, almost every single snap. Pull the center, let the let the tailback follow the center. Same play. Rush yards going super high tempo here into Temple territory. And that one is caught. A little comeback route for Nixon. He was breaking back on the comeback. McCray straight ahead and through another would-be tackler. Defensive front for Temple. Doesn't happen very often to the Owls. McMillan pressured, flings it up there, caught, touchdown. Thing to show for it. Now the defense back on the field and a handoff to Killens who saw that big hole but got dragged down. Nice tackle. Milton looking to run. Used a blocker, cuts back, and Milton will go down right near that first down mark. I think. They like to do that when they get the first down. A little shoulder fake, and the throw along the sideline incomplete. And then the hit came in, and a penalty flag. Eight minutes to go in this one. Been a wild game. It's calmed down a little bit here in the third quarter. Milton, hesitation, and he will dash for the sidelines, go out of bounds. We haven't really seen him utilize his running ability too much here tonight. Milton across the middle. He threw it high, and it is intercepted. Delvon Randall come more than 600 yards of offense in this game. They've actually scored more times than UCF. A throw into coverage and somehow caught. Great throw, great catch. Milton on the move. Now looking to scramble and will throw again to Williams. Why not? A shorter gain here. It'll be second. Different from just about any other quarterback in the country. Nice hole. McCray, another big gain on the ground into Temple Tyranny. 
Averaging 12 yards a carry. Milton flushed again. Milton throws it as he's getting dragged to the ground, and he did get rid of it. How much energy could these guys have left? Still a long way to go. Looked like another screen set up, and it was. Out into the open field. There goes Killens. Nice move. That was defended pretty well. Sometimes cut back to the middle of the field. Big pickup by Killens. Quickly to line of scrimmage. Milton looking middle. Now throws toward the end zone, and it is knocked away incomplete. But a flag throw. Well, stop, put a face mask, yep. kept the drive going. UCF punched that one in for a touchdown. Now they're going to get another touchdown. Straight ahead into the end zone. Taj have forced three different three and outs in this game. Can they stop UCF? McCray has been tough to stop. There's one first down across the 40. The longest they've let that play clock wind the whole game, and why not? McCray will take it, and he's going to be tackled from behind. So he lost several of here with under three and a half to go. Now handed off to McCray again. McCray squirted through and broke a tackle. There goes McCray out into the open, and he'll finally be tackled down close to the 20. This all game long. That counter is tough to defend, Coach. It is. I like the way they run it. It's very unconventional in terms of how you run the counters. But in the country that has not defeated a team that has a winning record. Now, he also said he could tell us that UCF was in the discussion. Tonight, we're, I mean, Tibble hadn't done this to anybody else. McCray will try to get away and hang it on for dear life. Temple with the tackle there.